You're on MMA.tv, we're here with Mike Wooten. Mike is, fight, Mike is fighting on the undercard of the Cage Contender Fight Size Lightweight Tournament. He takes on Brent Crawley in a bantamweight matchup. Mike, how are you feeling? Yeah, great, thanks. Um, you know, fight's, fight's close now. Um, starting to taper training down. I've had a good nine weeks in camp. Um, I couldn't have asked for it to go much better, to be honest. Yeah, and you've had, um, through injuries to others and injuries to yourself, you've had a little bit of a longer layoff than you probably might have liked and a couple of fights have fallen through. You know, Has that affected your preparation at all? No, not at all. I mean, as you say, I've had like, I fought March this year and um, since then I've had maybe another four fight camps. So I've constantly been in the gym, constantly been working on things to improve on. Um, you know, and I feel like I'm, I'm a much better fighter now than I was in March this year. So I feel, um, feel very prepared coming into it. And you're taking on Brent, who's obviously a, a tough fighter. He fights out of a good camp. He's got some good wins on his record. You know, what do you know about his style, and you know, have you, how have you trained to combat that? You know, Brent, um, he's, he's a tough guy really to to, to to try and set a game plan for because he's very well rounded. You know, he's got a good style. He's um, you know very talented striker, very talented wrestler. Um, so you know, we, basically, there's no set game plan. We're just going to go in there. And we're just going to go and see what happens on the night. But um, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be good. And as we've seen from yourself in your last couple of fights, you know your striking's been really sharp. Your own wrestling's been on point. Style for style, not too dissimilar to, to how Brent is going to be. You know, do you foresee this one going? You know, the whole hog, be, given that you two guys are probably so close comparably. No, I don't. Um, I think you know we're both very good in similar areas, um, and I think that on the night, you know, um, it's going to show. And I think that you know it will be a good fight, and I think there's going to be a stoppage somewhere. And uh, you know, you've just been here for the draw for the lightweight tournament as well. I mean, have you got any thoughts on the tournament? Being that you know you're on the undercard, it's going to be a big night. Yeah, I mean, look, I am looking forward to the tournament. Um, you know, it, it it is going to be good. Some of the best UK guys, um, you know, are in there. Obviously, you've got the two Europeans as well. But um, you know, it, it it's going to be a good night. I haven't got a favourite. It's hard to say. But um, that was my next question. Know, yeah, I haven't got a favourite. It is hard to say. Um, you know, there's just there's that many variables when you fight more than once a night. And um, you know, probably on paper. You know, Stapes is looking like the favourite with him. Um, you know, he's got fantastic cardio. He's a tough guy as well. But then again, Stringer has a lot of experience in these things before as well. So we'll wait and see. It's going to be a good night. All the best, Mike. Anybody you want to give a shout out to? Yeah, I'd just like to say, um, obviously, a big thanks to all the guys down at the gym, but my sponsors, Barney Rubbles, and um, also the guys down at Iron Armour. You know, they've helped me out a lot with um, my supplements and my nutrition this camp, um, along with the guys' physics training as well, helping me with nutrition and um, my diet and getting things in shape. So, big thanks, out, shout out to them. Cheers, Mike. All the best, mate. Cheers, mate.